Oliver Brady from Castle Blaney, County Monaghan. Good afternoon, Oliver. Good afternoon to you, Matt. How are you, sir? Well, I'm keeping well and getting, I'm getting there. Slowly, I'm getting there, but uh, everything's going well. I'm only going to Kilbegan this evening, so it can't be too bad if I can manage that. Are you still under orders not to get too excited at the track? Yes, under orders, but uh, sure, I'll do a little bit if I get the winner now. I'll not disappoint my followers. I tell you what, Oliver, I think I know a fact about you that you may not know. Well? You won more prize money last season than in any other season you've ever trained. Yes, I knew that. We oh. finished number 41, I think, oh, right. in the Trainers' Championship. Right. But I knew I had got it. Um, like it was good, and this year I intend to do better. And just tell us, in in Bally Bay, what do you do? It, what do you mean? What do I do in Bally Bay? Well, don't we you drink, drink a bit we, of tea we, we or drink something? Tea. Yeah, I thought but, you did. And and in Castle Blaney, in Monaghan, we drink brandy. Right. And in Castle Blaney, we beat the whole lot of them for eating sugary candy. Up Monaghan. And when we're there, Matt, what about? A long time now. What about that wee poem that I wrote for you? Oh, do we have to say that now? Ah, yes. Your, oh, your viewers would love that. Let me give you oh. half of it at least. Yeah, give us half. I saddled up the Baron oh. to have a little coup. I didn't have a jockey and I wondered what to do. Mm. So I rang the jockey's agent to see who he had got. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Brady, but I haven't got a lot. Mm. I'll give you Matt Chapman. Oh. He's arrogant. He's cocky. What? He talks as if he knows it all. He's the perfect little jockey. What? So I headed for the races and I put me money down. But little did I realise my jockey was a clown. Oh, very funny. Very funny indeed, your, yeah. Your, your viewers will love that one. I've never taken to you, oh, oh, Brady. I mean, goodness me. goodness. The good Lord is just keeping you on this planet to torment me, I think, Oliver. Yeah, I think you're right, Matt, and, and that's what I'm going to do. Right, yeah, well, you are, trust me. Uh, just just to remind you, we had a Cheltenham preview night. How much money did you raise in the we, end? We raised 41650 Euros. 41,000 euros. That has to be a record for any Cheltenham preview night. I know I know that nobody uh, nobody done that, but we worked very hard. We had a good team of people. We had great support all around the whole place. Like I'm taking no pre uh, credit or praise for it. I was just glad that we gave the money for a uh, sudden death uh, cardiac, you know, and uh, for all these young people who are dying. Uh, that's where the money went this year. We kept all the money uh, for that, and that's what we we did. So the cardiac people got all the money this year, and we're happy about it. And not many of our viewers will know this, Oliver. But just just let them know in the audience that night, because of the way you you were at the time, you had two nurses and two cardiac doctors waiting for anything to happen, didn't you? Yes. Well, the cardiac doctors were more waiting to get their checks, Matt, than they were <laughs> worrying about me because they knew I was all right. <laughs> And then the nurses that, when I had the heart attack and passed, literally passed away, the nurses that cared for me and got me back, I mm. I couldn't not take them to the preview. But it it was really good, and 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 I suppose Matt, a lot of them, a lot of them come to see you as well. Well, I don't think so. Sir. No, I know they did. No, no, I don't think so. Um, on the run up to it, all the people were saying is, "Is Matt Chapman coming?" And no, that was because they they were just not going to come if I was Oliver. Yeah, uh, look, but, just uh, it was great that you came, Matt, and, and you know I'm not going to be blowing your head up, but no. it was much appreciated, and I can tell you, you sharing all the money that we got, and you sharing all the help that those people, that the money went to. Well, you're a good man. Michael Barber says, uh, God bless you. And Robert Flood's just emailed in saying you're an absolute legend, Brady. Um, but it's not all good news, Oliver. Um, Brian Harrison emailed in earlier. says, Dear Matt, could you please ask, he did say please, to be fair, Mr Brady, to give us a winner. It's a long time since he's given us viewers a winner. Now, you've got some runners later on today, or at least one yes. Real but good Matt, possibility. Before we go to that, yeah? what, what was my tip at the Cheltenham preview to everybody? I'm not giving you anything for Cheltenham, but on your way through going to Stratford and back... Oh, you did say that, yeah. yeah you, your Stratford the horse won, and a couple of other times. But you tell that man that it's not my fault that he didn't get a couple of tips because you didn't have me on to give them. All oh, right, so it's my fault. Yeah, your fault. Oh, I thought it might be. 
Yeah, well, <laughs> at least you know, sure. You know, I'll always yeah. tell the truth and tell you what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I do that. Yeah, and for those people that, uh, yeah. you know, have been wishing me well, mm. I want to tell them that I still have my trust in the Lord Jesus Christ mm. and that I depend on him for whatever help I can get. And while he's around, uh, and and I have my faith in him, mm. I don't think I'll have much trouble with my health. Well, that's all very well, but if the good Lord is is popping into the betting shop in the sky this afternoon to have a bet, Oliver, he might not be so happy if you, if you don't provide him with a winner. Because well, who... I, I honestly think... Uh, now, I hope your listeners are listening to Well, they this, will be. Or your viewers. Mm. Uh, I think um, Imperial Chabra has a big chance tonight. Right. Now, I have won in the bumper... And he's working well at home. I don't know whether he's just up to bumper standard, but the way he's working at home, he could well run into a a, a place at a big price. That's be my Shabra in the bumper. Yes, but but the I big one would be Imperial Shabra, wouldn't it? He's the main one, yes. And he, I but mean, can I give them a tip for next week? If Yes. I have won the can't get beat next week, so they want to be getting as much money on as they can. Oh, it's, you're, you're sounding like Anthony Knott cool now. in a two-mile race at Clonmel. Clonmel? What's the, which Shabra is it? One cool Shabra. One cool Shabra at Clonmel. Yeah. OK. So tell that man that that's his tip now if I haven't given him one for a long time. I imagine the good Lord will keep you going another week then for that. So yeah, think he'll I want think to lump on that one. Yeah, well, that's the that's the... Information, just the same as I told them about Stratford. Yeah, just one horse. We we haven't mentioned Sadler's Native. It goes in the handicap chase, but I wanted to not so much because the horse has a great chance tonight or anything, Oliver. But just Anthony McCann, who who's a big lad. Let's face it. Yes. Um, but he is really part of your establishment and and gives you a lot of help, Anthony, who owns this horse. Well, well Anthony is a, a real good guy and and a very hard worker. And Anthony, during my whole sickness, has. You might as well say he has kept the stables together, and mm. that's the truth about him. Yeah. And that's his little horse now. Um, he runs in and out in snatches, and I, I told him uh, a few weeks back, we'll start putting him into graded races where only four and five comes in, and he's got himself about 10 grand prize money. Yeah. Now, it were, obviously, there's no point in telling you like, we're trying our life, with our life with him this evening. If he's good enough and he puts it in, he could well run into a place, but he won't be carrying my money, uh, no. you know, because he's in and out, and, and uh, he, you just couldn't be sure. The only thing I am sure is this, that uh, the, the wee fences that he'd be jumping over at Kilbegg and it'll be no bother to him. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he's another horse that needs um, good firm ground, and we ha just don't have that either. But no. uh, that Imperial Shabra will go on any ground, and I'm expecting a big run from him. Mm -hmm. I uh, honestly think I honestly think the doll is whatever beats him will win. Morton's just emailed in. He says Matt Oliver Brady is the definition of a character. He reminds me of Ginger McCain, an utter legend, and uh, loves hearing from you on the channel. That, that's nice. Yeah, well, it's lovely to hear people saying that about you, Matt. Isn't it worse if they were saying bad things? You know, they used to think years ago that I was nutty, man. And really? To be fair, to be what? Fair, oh, hold on, Oliver, go back. Think it yourself. What? Someone you thought you were mad? Surely not. No, uh, you think I'm half nutty, but anyway, well, you are. Matt. Anyway, Matt, I, yeah. I, I, if, the, if the truth were told, you're, you're more nutty than me. Right. When Thanks, start, Oliver. When you start them yee-haws and all that. Yeah, yeah, off you go now. You yeah, over... well, thank all your viewers, Matt, and honestly, I really do appreciate their prayers. Yeah. I really do. Once again, you've overstayed your welcome, Oliver. Thank you very much <laughs> for coming you. on the show. Thank off you, you go. Bye. Off you go. Bye, bye, bye. That is Oliver Brady, who was uh, good to a certain point and, and then just let himself down uh, a little bit. Uh, we're going for a break. After the break, we'll speak to the big man, Gordon Elliott.